all know what day it is. It's finally Friday. Woo! There the man is. Let's see what he's got, because today is Snap on Friday. Come on. Guys, real quick before we start this awesome snap on Friday, I want to invite each one of you to go to the pinned comment that will be left by the Diesel Medic channel. That will be where all the live stream events will be this next weekend for the meetup, which is May the 29th. That way, if you guys can't join us, you can enjoy it virtually. So be sure to click that subscribe button on that channel, and that way you can get in on the fun. So go check it out. Finally Friday. Finally. Finally, 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 finally. Well, I had somebody leave me a message. They asked that I not make fun of Snap on Jacks anymore. Uh oh. I don't need to call them Harbor Freight Jacks. <laughs> Who did that? And I don't need to say they was made in the same factory. <laughs> I just responded back, you realize I was kidding, right? So it's all a joke. So, not everybody's got the sense of humor we do. I, I mean, ain't nothing to life serious, you know? There's only two things that you're guaranteed gonna have to do, you know? Pay taxes and die. Well, Might as well have fun between the, the fact of having to do both of them. So if I offended any of y'all... We ain't sorry, but we are saying... For saying that the Snap-on Jack, when I called it a Harbor Freight Jack, Last week. Yeah, let me get back here and I'll show everybody something real quick so that they know. So I, if I offended you for calling a Snap-on Jack a Harbor Freight Jack, I'm sorry. I'm not really sorry. You shouldn't be so sensitive. If the man that owns the thing he's trying to sell is not offended, you sure as shit shouldn't care. <laughs> well, I promise y'all one thing. I'm not getting offended by anything. So don't, don't y'all don't get offended by it. Made in the USA. These are what? Made mean, in the USA. You mean it's not made in the same factory as Harbor Freight? It's, it's shocking. And they are. These are 100% made in the USA right here. Just so people know, they're made in Iowa. They added onto the toolbox factory up there. So I may be wrong. Jacks. May be thinking wrong factory. I'm pretty sure it's Iowa. And just for making Algona. Yeah. Or Algoma. Making, which Algoma. Is, I think. Yeah. Algona, I don't know. Somebody will correct us on that. So. I've read it a bunch of times on your toolboxes. It was here, but I still don't yeah, know. Yeah, I think it's Algona with yeah. an N, not an M. Yeah. We just like to have fun on this channel. Don't take care of That's it. it. So we're swapping places today. So I'm going <laughs> yeah, to be on this side where yeah. Hamilton normally stands up here by the money machine <laughs> and let Hamilton stand back here with the tools. I can get to feel the AC back here today. <laughs> we could just swap. You could run the camera, and I'll sell you some tools today. We have to do that sometimes. <laughs> Everybody be like, what the heck? <laughs> Man, what you got up here in an SK bag? Like, this is sacrilegious, ain't it? Now, well, this, the dealer in the territory next to me in Ripley, Mississippi, have, which is, Ripley is from here is what we say. 20 15, minutes at the yeah, most. 15 miles, something like that. Yeah, 15, 20 minutes. Uh, the dealer over there, uh, I can't think of it, Shane or something. Great dude. Uh, big old fella. Big beard and everything. Cool dude. But he got out uh, for various reasons. And a bunch of his shops come to me to warrant out their tools. Yeah. And which I understand. I mean, they can mail them to Snap on and they get new tools back. Um, nine out of 10 times, Snap on don't even ask for the other tools back. Yeah. Just take throw them away or whatnot. But they do bring them a um, couple different shops here in town to let them drop them off, and I swap them out for them. This was one whole bag full of stuff. All warranty that, stuff. Yep, from one shop. Y'all see how good of a dealer we got. Ain't even his customers, ain't yeah. even his route still taking care of folks. Yeah, I mean, just doing the right thing because it's the right thing to do. 
to me it is. Some people might not agree with that. What, you got a used yeah. multimeter down there? It is. It does. Uh, this old blue point. That some batteries. looks just like the new Snap-on. <laughs> Real similar <laughs> to it, ain't it? <laughs> look, look at the way the cover goes on it. And the way the... Look, dude, that's... That right there is a scam. Snap on. They're scamming folks. They sold it as a blue point. Realized, <laughs> nah, wait a minute. We it's make too more good of a multimeter. To... We're going to put a snap on there. Yeah, we can make more money off this. Going to put a snap on one on there. Yeah. Got that. That's... Those are good meters, though. I like them. Yeah. That one needs a battery. So many in it. people. Like, what amazes me about this is, like, <clears throat> if what you do don't affect my life, I don't care. Like, if you want to make $10,000 and you want to stack it up in pretty little piles and set it on fire, hey, man, let me at least watch. Yeah, you know, I, like, I could care less. When I bought that Snap-on meter from you, I remember that was, like, the number one complaint. You're an idiot. You're a fool. You're stupid for spending that kind of money on a Snap-on meter. Fluke's the best, blah, blah, blah. Like... Fluke don't drive the truck up here, guys. Yeah. And that's what I, I had one guy tell me one time. He he was the same way. Or I mean, not like the but he's like, well, I like to I like to fluke major, so I ordered one offline. I'm like well, that's cool, ain't no problem, you know. Yeah. Like well, how much you pay for it? Right? I can't remember. It was probably three or four years ago now. I was like, I could got you the same one. Probably saved me fifty bucks on it. Mm -hmm. Why'd you get that? Now they're in our RWD book. And like here's how it normally goes the day I, I remember that exact day honestly that I bought my first snap on meter from you I got two of them. I got the yep. one with the big digital screen and then the one I got y'all's rebranded blue point one with a <laughs> snap on logo on it twice the price of the blue point that's one. right and but it's the same meter tape. yeah <laughs> but now I remember the day it happened we was working on a truck my craftsman meter that I've had from probably 1998 had just I don't know what happened to it. Like the screen, it wasn't that the meter didn't work, but like sometimes you'd be using it and the screen would just, half the numbers would go away. Yeah. It was like the bottom half wouldn't work at all. And I was like, crap. And you showed up and what did you have laying right up there on the shelf? Yep. It was right there and I'm like, there we go. Problem you gotta solved. have it, gotta have it. So You know, and then like a couple months later, like you snookered me on this one, I'd give it to you. You did a little sneaky salesman's tactic. You're like, Check out this new meter we got. Bluetooth. It's the big Bluetooth <laughs> digital multimeter. When you're sitting in the truck, you can go back there and plug it up to your ABS sensors on the trailer, and you don't even have to get out of the truck. What did I do? Like a big old fat sucker, I said, put it on me, Hamilton. <laughs> <laughs> but now, the, now, also, you know, there's been times you've come up here and been like, hey, man, I want you to try this out, and I didn't like it. You know, yeah. and it wasn't no hard feelings. It wasn't no, well, you're an idiot for not buying it. No, like just, Hamilton's like, okay, cool. And then go on to the next show. Every now. tool is not for everybody. I, and I get a lot of that people, I mean, people that's not around tools all the time. Like when, with a lot of my buddies first, when I found, when they found out I was starting to snap on, they're like, well, don't people quit buying tools sometime or another? I was no. like, no, because <laughs> if you're working on vehicles, you always going to need different tools because there's always something newer better and greater coming out and that uh even the fact like even if i try to sell you the snap-on screwdrivers snap-on wrenches and if you don't like well i don't like them i like the matco mm -hmm. or i like the craftsman or i like harbor freight ones now some guys might get upset about it i don't care yeah i mean i would prefer you buy it over me so i make a dollar off mm -hmm. of it but i mean i'm not gonna get mad like i'm not coming back out there no more because you're not buying tools for me yeah. I'm not doing that. That's just Well it's been it's, rare that you brought something in that I've demoed that we didn't buy. Yeah. You know, because most of the time it was, you know, pretty good stuff. I mean all right, so and then there's been times like where you know, Hamilton sold me something and and a couple of months later they come out with a newer version that's bigger and badder or fancier or got more powerful magnets or you know, it's got like um rare earth juju put inside it to help you work better whatever the case may be now i don't know if hamilton's overcharging me when he sells it to me the first time which may be the the reason but he's always giving me my full amount of money back 
And I know you've said that on video, like we ever buy anything from you and we're not happy with it, you bring it back to me and I'll give you full amount back. Yeah. So. And that's what, I, and a lot of dealers don't do that. There again, but I won't, I would rather lose a few dollars on this side because everything we get, you set, we're always on the sell. I may not sell it for as much the second time as I sold it for the first time, obviously being with a little wear and tear on it, mm -hmm. but we're going to sell it and we're going, I mean, you're, you're going to, lose a little bit here to make a lot more down the road and a lot of people don't understand it i guess I like, don't know. oh man i got crucified when i bought that right there oh, the when snap i bought on tape the measure. snap on tape measure from hamilton everybody you're an idiot you're stupid yeah. you're a fool for buying that because you could have went and bought a stanley flat max for 20 bucks well guess what the day i needed a tape measure stanley, stanley. wasn't here with a freaking truck <laughs> The day yeah. I needed that tape measure, you remember what I was yep. doing? I don't know if you remember the I old story or not. We was adjusting a leveling valve on a truck. Yeah, that's what it was. Something with a and it had to be like eight exactly. and three quarters inches. I didn't have it. Didn't nobody in the shop have a tape measure? Yeah, that was a tough day. I remember that now. Hamilton rolls up, and I'm like, I don't even want to ask how much it is. I gotta have it. Just give it to me. And that's how that happened. Like, yeah, yeah I could have left and drove to Walmart. Yes, I could have went to uh, the lumber store or wherever. I don't even know where the hell you buy tape measures. Like I, I, I think I bought like three tape measures in my whole life. Yeah, you know. Well, the, but I now know. that tape measure it lives in my toolbox. Like I know where it's at. Hamilton brought it one. here. He had it here on the truck. It made me happy that day. And if I overpaid for it, and I'm happy that I overpaid for it, then you should be happy for me because I'm happy because I overpaid for yeah. it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I mean. That goes back to, like I said, people getting offended by stuff that don't matter to them anyway. Yeah. I mean, I know when I first started coming out here, you had the cobalt box and a bunch mm -hmm. of other tools and everything else. It took me and, a while uh, to buy something yeah, off of you because you was high. Yeah. And uh, price-wise, let me clarify that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he wasn't high yeah, he, on substances. Getting, he was he I've was getting high tagged on price. Facebook about something here for pretty soon. Yeah, they... Uh, but no, yeah, and I didn't pull up here, and Wild Bill, SOB, had a Big Mac Co box. Carl he had that one, Cobalt yeah. box, and I was just into it first, and I didn't get, like, come in, like, oh, y'all ain't buying that. I ain't spending no time here. Treated y'all like every other customer. The, you and, remember the first purchase I bought off of you? Uh, I can't I'll give you a hint. It wasn't this one. It was the version before this, the plastic. The plastic one. Yeah. I got one. No, it it wasn't, the, yeah, it wasn't even like this one right here. It was the version before that. Somewhere or another, I had one. But the the light is more rectangle. Yeah, yeah. Yep, sure do. I remember that. That yeah, was the I, first one I bought from Hamilton, and I was like, golly, that man. That's probably 90, the hardest sale I had. $90 for a light, really $90 for a light. And I was like, oh, well, the guy's got to make a living too. And then after me and Hamilton become friends, like, you know, and there's been hundreds of times I've bought stuff and I never even asked the price, you yeah. know, and, and like, that's kind of how it worked with me with Snap-on. I know a lot of guys got issues, like they have the, like, it's not worth it to me to spend the money on a Snap-on socket or it's not worth the money to me to spend a Snap-on ratchets or wrenches or what. Look, that's, that's all on you, dude. Like, if and another that, guy wants to do it, that's his, you know, as long as he's not taking food out of his kid's mouth, you know, why do you care? Yeah. Why do you and, care? I mean, I tell people a lot of times, somebody's asking me about something, I can't remember exactly what it was this morning, uh, and they was like, well, how fast can you get it? Like, I mean, with well, that particular thing I could have by next week. It's like, well, I need it like in two days. Dude, go to Amazon, get yeah. it on Amazon, you know? That, that's what the guy told me, He's he ain't from here, he just, he been here about six months. He's like, I've never had any tool salesman to go buy, tell me to go buy something on Amazon. It's like, well, I if can't get it here quit, fast enough that's what for it you. Is, yeah. And I mean, that's just what you need to do. Well, I got an oddball tool request that I need. Uh, right. The Mack truck didn't have it yesterday, and you probably won't have it. And I'm not going to get mad at you if you don't, because it's kind of an oddball. I need the flywheel holder for a 6.6 Duramax. Um, Lyle makes one. It's 21100, I think, is the part number. 21100? But it. I didn't know if you might have one on the truck or. Cause I know some sometimes you guys will keep stuff like that. Whew. 
Man. There's a lot cooler back there's there. That's way cooler back here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you may have it on the truck, and if so, I'll just buy it from you today. Because if not, I'm going to have to order it on Amazon because i got to have it for a, a water pump. And somebody said, oh, you don't have to have it. You can take the starter out and put an extension through your flywheel hole and blah, blah, blah. But, man, I'm going to... Let me see. What I'm we... not going to take the chance on it. If it ain't but 40, 50 bucks, I'd rather do it and have it done and be done with it. No, I'm... This ain't what you're looking for right here, obviously. A live valve tapping tool. It's 21... Try 22100 then. It's either 22100 or 21200. Flywheel holding socket. That's it right there. I don't have that. So yeah, there again, I would probably go So how go long will it take you to order it? Oh, I could have it by next week, that from Lyle, because they would get it out real fast. I might probably have it like by Tuesday or Wednesday. Okay. What's your price on it? 52. 52. Okay. Well, nobody else has got it. So, I guess uh, I'm going to check with Napa because I know they carry a lot case. of Lyle Well, I'm going to go ahead and order one anyway because I don't have one. Yeah. And there's a bunch of junky Duramaxes that got to be worked on around here. Uh, every one of them. Like the 2022s when they roll out, they need to be worked on. Yeah. <laughs> we're just me. kidding Chevrolet guys we're just kidding we're just kidding Hamilton's a Dodge guy because he's got enough money to keep it on the road I ain't got no Dodge well I got it still got a Chrysler product I, I got, a, you Jeep, got a Jeep yeah I got well, a Jeep that's a, that's a rebranded Dodge yeah <laughs> that's like the blue point of Dodges yeah <laughs> like the snap on version would be the the one you have the Dodge with the Cummins in it and then the the blue point version would be the Jeep yeah <laughs> A rough riding Jeep. Yep. They're cool, though. They, they hold their value. I give them out. I was offered already more for it now than what I was a month, what I paid for it a month ago. I don't believe it because you'd have sold it. <laughs> well, the, I, I almost you did. You must have got a deal in it. I almost did sell it. But the thing is, I was like, well, let me look and see real quick. And everything else has done went up. So I was like, well, I can't sell it now. Now, this is the guy that uh, if you got the correct change, like Everything's he'll walk home. Himself. Yeah. No, he won't have to walk home. He can call me. I, I can call somebody. Him ride. That's what he my, drank beer while I drive him home. My wife was shocked when I sold my Dodge truck. So she's like, "That's your dream truck." I was like, "I've had it five years, and they offer me more than what I paid for it five years ago." I've lived my dream. Yeah. I mean, I'd, <laughs> I'd be a, I'd be an idiot not to sell it at that point. Exactly so. right. Well, I guess guys, we're gonna get in here and get back to work, and uh, you got transmission put in today. Yeah. We gotta get that thing stabbed in there. Not like physically stabbed with a knife, because <laughs> somebody report me to YouTube. This a bunch of crybabies. Bunch of crybabies on kind of stuff We're today. going to install the transmission and torque converter and torque converter into the rear of the engine via bolt bell housing bolts and torque converter bolts and tape post lift. Yeah, that's right. Don't be reporting me for saying I'm. <laughs> Don't stab. We'll see. What would that be? Uh, Community guidelines violation uh, or something. Yeah, that would be or aggravated not. committing aggravated assault on, on an engine. Yeah. Or <laughs> transmission. <laughs> All right, guys. Fun with this stuff. <laughs> uh one quick thing before we go, make sure if you guys want to get in on the live stream, Hamilton's gonna be here next Saturday to meet up. Make sure you go to the Diesel Medic channel and follow that page. I'll pin a comment at the top and that way you guys can follow that channel because that's us. where the live stream's gonna be. And you might get to see Hamilton dance. You might get to see him make some deals and sell a toolbox. We don't know. He may uh, he may show us all that he can play the guitar and sing. Don't know. You yeah, never tell what you see around here. That's right. Like always, guys, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes is down there. If you're not subscribed, you take your finger, click that button. You guys have a great weekend. Catch you later. See ya.